Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Mortal Kombat X Scorpion Imperial Stout. Uh, this is from Sound Brewery. These guys are out of Posubo, Washington, if that's how it's pronounced. Posubo. It's an Imperial Stout. Uh, not a huge one, 8% on this one. Uh, my brother Rico sent this to me. I don't know when or how long I've had it. I didn't go through all the paperwork here to see when he sent it to me. Of course, uh, uh, even though I've got the paperwork here, it doesn't tell me when he sent it to me. So he did send it to me, and it still has a price sticker on here. Seven dollars and fifty cents is what uh, what he paid for it. Uh, in having Mortal Kombat, you know, the, the video games and all that. And from what I'm seeing, uh, they did a couple of different versions of this beer. Uh, this is the Scorpion. 8% uh, uh, IBUs, if it's listed anywhere, no. I don't have any information. And on top of that, Beer Advocate doesn't even have it listed. I tried several different ways. Sound Brewery. Uh, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat X, Combat X, nothing returned from these guys. So, Bear Advocate, you're out of here on this one. So, let's get on with this beer. Uh, final beer of the evening for me on this one, guys. Uh, I'm reviewing this on the 17th of April of 2017. Uh, I don't know how old the beer is. I didn't see any kind of dating uh, on the label here. And I will check again when I come back for the final chug and see if there's anything written on the bottle. Uh, I don't know how big the uh, the brewery is, uh, whether it's a very small brewery or whether Rico traded to get his hands on this. If they are distributing either in Pennsylvania or New York out of where they're at in, uh, in Washington, they need to date their stuff. They need to put a vintage on it, at least a vintage on this style of beer. It's not an IPA or double IPA or some, something infused with coffee that's going to fade over time. But still, we, we want to know, uh, are, are you brewing this beer year after year after year? And if you want to do a vintage side by side and there's no dating on it, how are you going to know what you've got? Uh, if you want to do a 2013 and a 2015 or a 2014 and a 2017 side by side, if you're not dating it, how are we going to know? So, you need to have at least a vintage on it, guys. Uh... Commercial description on this beer, it says here, a unique blend for great imperial stout brings both the fire and ice into your glass. The fiery southwest chilies and cooling Madagascar vanilla beans pair nicely with the exotic notes produced in our own yeast strains. So it's got some chilies in it, so might have a little heat with this to go. That'd be good. I like that. I really do. I don't want to drink that kind of style all the time. But when I, I get a beer and it's got some chilies that's been brewed with it, I'm anxious to try that. So, Rico, we're going to give it a whirl, buddy. Thank you, my brother. I do appreciate you getting your hands on this however you did, whether you traded or, or you picked it up somewhere. And if you picked it up on this side of the country, they definitely need to have a dating machine or a vintage on the label. If they're coming all the way across the country, they're big enough to do that. So... And we'll look at the bottle when I come back uh, for the final chug and see if there's anything written on it anywhere that we can't see with a dark beer in a dark brown bottle. A lot of times they print something uh, in black ink and you can't see when the beer is in there, especially when it's been refrigerated and you get it out and it's sweating, condensating profusely like this one is. 
All right, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about, so let's dive into this bad boy. Get the thing opened up. Plain Jane cap on it. Nice little hiss on it, but a little bit of smoke. Cuisine is buttery, brie, gouda, Havarti, Swiss. Goes well with your chocolate dishes, it says. Digestive, uh, meat, beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glass bar to pint back or nylon tumbler snifter, oversized wine glass. I got my favorite snifter. Oh, that looks good. Very black coming out of the bottle. And it says here can be settled for a long period of time. I don't know if I would try to sell our 8 percenter for 20 years, but you never know. It might work out pretty good. I've got an Alaskan porter downstairs. It's a 2002. It's 15 years old, and it's not a big beer. It's 15, no, 15. It's uh, between 5 and 6 percent. I don't know if it's still going to be good. It might make me sick as a dog drinking something that might maybe be that old. But yeah, it's been refrigerated the whole time, so we're going to get it out for too long. Sometime within the next year. <laughs> when I feel comfortable that I ain't got to work the next day if it does make me sick. Uh, still got a good three quarter fingers of head on that. Very dark. Pitch black, guys. No light at all coming through it. Let's get a nose on it. Oh, big chocolate notes. Not getting the chilies on the nose. Rich roasted malt. Bittersweet chocolate. Caramel toffee, molasses, brown sugar. Very nice sweetness to the back end of the beer. Smells very, very good. The Madagascar vanilla beans. I'm getting more chocolate than vanilla right now, but that may change as it warms up. It's right out of the fridge. Let's dive in. Final beer of the evening for me. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico, my brother. taste, I am getting the chilies on the back end. They're there. Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. A very nice change from your traditional stouts and milk stouts where it's super sweet. Those chilies kicking up a notch. That is very, very nice. I love a nice chili stout or porter. Wow. Nice heat on the back of that. Very, very nice. Well done. Wow. Well done. I can't believe Beer Advocate don't have this beer or beer company listed. And usually when I see that, it's a small distribution, a small brewery. But if Rico picked this up on this side of the country, and they're shipping it from Washington all the way over here to either Pennsylvania or New York where he buys his beers, Unless he traded for this beer, they need to put a date on it. If they're coming that far across the country, they need to have a dating machine. Everything that a typical stout's going to have, your sweetness, the bittersweet chocolate, the caramel, the toffee, uh, molasses, but the chilies are kicking this beer up a notch or 12. Definitely getting the heat on the back end of this. Very, very nice. This would go well with a Mexican dish, tacos, nachos, anything, any spicy dish. Wow. Very delicious, but there is some heat to this beer. With the chilies, the heat is there. And I like that. Very well done. Very well done. Alcohol, basically non existent as far as the taste picking up on the alcohol. That's what I'm saying. Very well done. But they have kicked it up a notch or 12 with the chilies. They've actually added a little bit more than most of the breweries do when they're doing a chili beer. Definitely getting the heat on the back end. Wow. Very nice. I like that. That may be off-putting to some people. If you don't like 
chilies or any kind of hot spicy foods, jalapenos or, or habanero or anything like that, you may not be a fan of this. But if you do, this has got a very substantial heat from the chilies on the back end of this beer. Wow. Very tasty. Very tasty. I may even get the hiccups. Excuse me. From this beer. That's very nice. I enjoy this. I enjoy this a lot. But I'm going to sip on it. We'll come back. We'll look at the bottle. See if we can find any kind of dating. Or more information. Written on the bottle somewhere. I'm already getting the, the chilies coming back. Substantial chili notes on this one, guys. Very strong chili notes on this beer. Very nice. Wish I had tacos for dinner tonight or, or nachos or something like that to, to pair this with. This would be excellent with that. It would go very well with a big, hot, spicy dish. Let's sip on it for a while. Go out there and fire up that cigar and we'll see where it ends up. Alright guys, I'm back. Got a little up here. Looks at the bottle when I got back. No vintage or dating or anything like that on there. It's an imperial stout, 8%. It's not going to go bad, but I want to see a vintage on it. Um, they, as far as what I've seen, they've done like three different versions of this. Uh, this is the Scorpion, and it's hot by Scorpion. Trust me, heavy chilies on this beer. You will get that from the first sip to the last sip. Uh, big time chilies. It might be a little overkill on the chilies, as a matter of fact. I do like a nice, hot, spicy Imperial style occasionally, but this is a little on the heavy side. But uh, uh, either you will like that or you will not like that. Uh, it is very warm, very heat activated on the back of the palate. Uh, I did enjoy it, but. This is probably the heaviest chili influenced beer that I've had in quite a long time. Uh, but for a stout, with the sweetness of the stout and uh, the rich roasted malt and the toffee and the caramel, it does work well together, but it is strong on the heat side, guys. Uh, I will tell you that. Uh, if you're not into the hot, spicy foods, you probably will not like this beer. If you are, you probably will like this beer. Uh, there's probably not a fine line there. Either you will like it or you will not like it because of the heat of the chilies on this beer. But it is very much apparent in the taste on this beer. I didn't get a lot on the nose, but in the taste, the chilies are in the front seat. They're driving. They're taking up the whole front seat. No room for anybody else. And they might be even being part of the back seat. Uh, I don't know if I would say they were taking up both the front and the back seat. But just heavy chilies in this beer. And I don't know if they were hot, their jalapeno or their habanero or some other uh, hot chilies in this beer. But it is a very warm on the back end uh, on the taste on this beer. But I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. Not something I could drink every day. But it was a nice change from your typical... Uh, bittersweet chocolate stouts or, or, or milk chocolate stouts. Uh, you know you're drinking something with chilies in it. There's no doubt about it. And like I said earlier, if Rico traded for this beer and they're a small brewery, uh, I can understand uh, while there's no dating on it, they might not be big enough to do it. But if he bought this beer either in Pennsylvania or New York and they distributed it all the way across the country, they need to have some kind of vintage or something on the bottle. That's just the way I feel about it, guys. Uh, if, you're going, if your distribution is that big, you need to have a vintage on it. Let us know when this was put in the bottle. So, uh, I think it's a very tasty beer, guys. I, I do. Uh, I enjoy this beer, but it is heavy on the heat. Final choke. go very, very well with a hot, spicy dish. A nice Mexican style dish. Something with a little heat to it. 
uh, or if you're burning an American dish with some heat to it, or some peppers or, or hot spices in it, this would probably go very well. It's a heavy beer. It's a very enjoyable beer. Uh, to me, guys, uh, I'm going to give it to A. Uh, I'm going to give it to A minus, is where I'm going to put it. Uh, 90 from me on this one, guys. Uh, I could give it a better grade, but I want to see more information on what they're giving us. Some kind of vintage or dating on the bottle, which they're not doing. Uh, but it is a very tasty beer. And uh, and on top of that, when I went over to Beer Advocate, like I told you earlier, I couldn't find anything on their site about this beer. No matter what I typed in, it, it didn't return anything uh, with these guys' beers in it. So. They're out of the they're out of the equation on this grade, and I'm sure somebody's going to come back. Oh, here it is, here it is. When I type in Mortal Kombat X or or Sound Brewing, and you don't return anything, that's all the hoops I'm going to jump through. Uh, if that's not enough information for you to return uh, something about this brewery or about this beer, that's it. I'm done. So, uh, like I said. Uh, a minus for me, 90 in the scale. We're running over to Beer Advocate and have it listed. We're running over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 94 overall, but only 47 in the style. And it may be because of the heat of this beer. Uh, some of the guys may, may not fit, think it fits in the style because it's so warm. And it is a warm beer. It is a very warm beer. You drink this and you will feel those chilies on the back of your palate or your throat. Uh, I don't want to say it's like kerosene or anything, but you will know you're drinking something that had chilies brewed with it. Trust me. And like I said, we will go over to Untab for our final check-in. And they have it at 3.68, which is right at their B-plus category. I think it's a tad better than that. I enjoyed this. It's very well made. The alcohol is very well hidden. And it tells you it's Mortal Kombat. And these guys that brewed this beer, they had to pay a little bit to Warner Brothers to use that Mortal Kombat video game name on there. So I don't know what that cost them to do that. But uh, everybody's got their hand out. Everybody wants a little piece of the pie. If you're, you, oops, excuse me, if you're using their uh, Mortal Kombat or anything like that that's uh, trademarked or anything from video games or or movies or anything, uh, they want their piece of the pie. So, uh, seven dollar fifty cent bottle of beer, Rico. Once again, my brother, thanks a bunch for sending this to me. I enjoyed it very strong. I don't know if you got a chance to taste this beer, or if you got two of them, or you got this somewhere in Pennsylvania or New York. Very strong heat on this beer. Very, very strong heat on this beer. I did enjoy it. Not something I'd want to drink every day, but a nice change up for an imperial salad. So, we got all the numbers, guys. If you've had this one from uh, Sound Brewing, uh, this is the Mortal Kombat X Scorpion Imperial Stout. Let me know what you think, guys. Come back tomorrow. Let's take something tasty out of the fridge. See you then.